Pants Action Corrosion here. We're doing a uh, bridge bearing service on uh, fixed rockers and slide plate bearings for Main Roads, Queensland. This is the uh, Emu Creek Bridge near Moore. Um, we've got seven piers. We're doing about 80 bearings. So we'll clean those out, de-rust them, grease them, do a report on them. There's probably going to be out 30 or 40 uh, anchor nuts that need to be replaced because they're heavily rusted. So we'll, uh, we'll replace them. Um, basically hand it back to the owner. So some of these fixings are heavily corroded. So what Mick's doing is using our induction heater to heat the nut up to expand it. And it does make it a little bit easier to remove. Here at Emu Creek, um, yeah, the free end uh, bearings were a heavily rusted anchor nuts that we've we've replaced. Uh, we had to trim the top of the thread because it's just not the space to get the nuts off and put new nuts on. So we've done that here. Uh, in order to get the 5 8 threads, which for the sole plate, uh, we have to remove these guides. The guides just can't physically be removed. So what we all we can do is estimate the metal loss. We can't even get in there and measure those properly. But by uh, replacing these these anchor nuts at least we're preventing that lateral movement um, and that's the best outcome we're going to get for these these end bearings it's pretty much just the outside um, free end uh, bearings on the outside It's Josh Burton here from Action Corrosion. We've just concluded our roller rehab bridge bearing service here at the Emu Creek Bridge Kilcoy in Queensland. Uh, after doing the service last week, which involved de-rusting the slide plate bearings and the rockers, um, we painted and greased. We returned this week to find that we had um, six millimetre movement on Pier 3 and that was across all the girders and on Pier 5 we had uh, three millimetres of movement in that one week. So based on that we would say that those, um, those bearings were frozen um, and now they've retracted in the, this colder winter months. I'll show you now the fixings. We replaced approximately 60 uh, anchor nut fixings on this bridge. Uh, that were in various stages of, of uh, metal loss. Um, I'll show you those now, an example of what we removed as part of this service. So this is an example of what we found. So a lot of them were basically you know, down to about 95% metal loss. Uh, we had some with cavities in the side, but we, as I said, this is just a small sample of 60 we removed um, and now, um... so it's action corrosion here we've just done the service here a week ago on this bridge at emu creek at kilcoy um, this is pier 3 bearing 8 and this is what we like to see this um, girder has retracted in the week following the cleaning and de-rusting it is retracted about seven millimeters, which is a lot uh, in such a short period of time because this was freshly painted. And now you can see the lead undercoat coming through, which is a great result. That's what we look for. So 
There would have been some uh, some rust issues with these girders and the bearings, and this just goes to show you that if you if you do do the service, de-rust them, lubricate them, um, you can take a lot of tension out of the bridge. Yeah, Emu Creek, this is Pier 2 on, sorry, Pier 5, bearing 2. And you can see here, the girders retracted after the service. Uh, we're only looking at about three mil on this one. But you can see the lead undercoat under the 